Uh, okay, so tires, soul survivor says, tires, what is happening with tires? Right, so all these that you feel right now is also special. There's nothing in the tire model. So it feels like if the tires are easier to handle, but in reality, <clears throat> it's, um, it's, uh, it's all suspension. Uh, right, so Claudio Zaramillo, and we now move to the tires, uh, asks a very, very nice question. What can we expect with regards to tire temperatures and pressures? So, this is, this is very interesting. Why? Because since the suspension copes with the bumps and everything much better, your tires might be a little bit uh, less hot and have a little bit less pressure. So you might need to raise your tire pressures a tiny bit more now, okay? So this is a very interesting question and uh, check it out and let me know what you think uh, after, after you know, some days that you work with it. Um, well, more, more bump stop, more stiffer, stiffer, stiffer uh, bump stops for the uh, Lexus if it touches the ground too much. Um, improvements in the rain. So, here we have one of the things that we've changed for 1.310 is that the slick tires are now much more uh, nervous if the, uh, if the tire is wet. So uh, with slick tires now, you're going to have more problems uh, in, in the wet, okay? So before now, we had uh, many alien drivers using slicks even with wet conditions. I mean, not terribly wet, but, you know, light rain. Uh, or conditions and they will no, you know, use use uh, slicks. Well, now you, you cannot do anymore. You cannot do this anymore. So let me show you. Uh, dynamic weather enabled. Uh, let's do here custom, all right? So cloud cover and precipitation. Yeah. So let's uh, have some rain, all right? But with uh, grip level optimum, which can be very slippery uh, if it's raining, and wetness zero. So we start with uh, the, the track completely uh, dry, okay? And uh, it will get wet. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go with aggressive setup, slick tires and drive instantly. Green light, green light. Go, go, go. Now you can also see that um, the HUD tells me that uh, the wet tires are optimum and in a minute it will tell me also that I have to enable the uh, uh, to switch on the, uh, the lights so as you can see the, uh, the circuit is uh, rubbered you can see the rubbered line and it's still dry but it's raining so at some point the rubbered line is going to become very very slippery so let's see how the uh, slick tires uh, will behave in such conditions. For now, I don't have issues, I don't have problems, but it keeps on raining and the tires are starting to get colder. As you can see, whoops, whoa, you see that already I'm starting to have issues. Oh, you see how it slides and I went, oh, again, oh, whoa, <laughs> oh my God. So this is. You know, you, you have to be much, much more careful than before. Now, look at that. Look how slidey and slippery it is. Ooh! <laughs> how about this? So let's go in. Get the car again. Go out. So as you can see, you are going to have big issues with the slick tires on raining conditions. So let's crank up the traction control, all right? Because it might be, you know, the traction control, then you cannot control the car because obviously it's more slippery. So traction control goes way up, ABS goes way up like this at nine. And let's see if we can control the car better, right? Rain still coming down. You can see on the, uh, the message that says that I have three laps remaining 
to switch on the lights. Of course, if you have the lights uh, automatically, they... Oh my god! Code Brown! Oh <laughs> uh, you will see that the lights uh, switch automatically on. That's nothing... Uh, uh, not, not an issue for you. But if you like having things manually as, as I do, uh, you will see the message and you will see also the black and orange flag waving which means that you know I have to light up my uh, my lights so let's do this oh my god so lights are up and you can see down under the rev limiter that I have the new green light on the HUD that shows that my lights are now on again let me show you lights off lights on gray green down here under the pedals so look how slippery everything is the truck the uh, the actual uh, mm, curbs everything is so slippery see I cannot close the line right here so it's better for me to stay a little bit outside because otherwise it is impossible to to go inside again let's stay a little bit outside and hope for the best then try to cross oof, oof. so difficult so this is one of the things that we've changed uh, on, on the tires slick tires on wet conditions not so easy to control anymore I'm not saying that you're going to, to die instantly uh, but certainly you're not going to be so fast you'll have to adapt your driving and make you know the hard decision to go to the pit stop and choose wet tires which again is a risk because if the if the um, the truck is going to to dry up oh my god Ooh. survive <laughs> oh my god what about that so yes uh, you, you have to decide when it is the time to to go uh, and get the uh, the wet tires uh, because obviously if you get the wet tires too soon they're going to overheat a lot uh, too 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 late and you're going to die <laughs> simple as that so yeah this is what what's going on all right so um, uh, aqua planning is uh, yes more more apparent now the uh, the actual uh, wet tires haven't changed a lot or almost nothing but the slick tires on wet conditions have changed, so you know, be careful of that. Let's have a look for, uh, at it from the outside. Look how nice it is. I love it. <laughs> it's change camera. All right. Okay, let's talk about extra stuff on the tires. So, as you have probably noticed, uh, we added an extra thing on the tires. And that extra thing is a new kind of graining. New kind of graining. So, what is all this about? Let me show you. Thank you, Cloud News, for, for, uh, for the follow. So let's go out from here and let's go back into, um, into dry conditions. Okay. So as you know, or might not know, um, let's get a different car. I don't know. Let's get... Uh, uh, what do you like? I don't know. Let's get... Uh, let's get the Lexus. Exactly, exactly. So, here it is. So, this is mainly for the slick tires, all right? This is mainly for the slick tires. Um, as you know, we have graining already. What is graining? Graining means that if your tires are very cold and you keep on pushing them, okay, uh, then... Uh, on the surface, they form some kind of tearing, some kind of uh, um, lines uh, that do not permit the tire footprint to, to be, you know, as the slick one is, that it is as wide as possible. Uh, but it gets those lines and the tires become less precise. Uh, they might heat up more and uh, they do not work properly. This is the normal graining. Now, Pirelli tires do not really suffer much from normal graining, so graining that occurs at low temperatures. They suffer a little bit, but no big deal. But uh, if you are, even if the tire is 
at the correct temperature, like this now. Okay, and you ask from the tire way too much uh, from the optimum uh, peak of the tire. You know that the tire gives the optimum grip uh, when they are sliding just a little bit, not too much. If you, they are sliding too much, then what you do is that you are scrubbing uh, material from the tire. So if you go into a turn and do this, okay, you see, like that, for example. In that way, you are scrubbing way too much material from the tire. Okay, so if you push the tire way too much, you are literally scrubbing material off the tire, like this, you see, every turn like this. Now, this will obviously um, wear down your tire more in a set of course until now, but not so much. It wasn't such a big deal, okay? So it would have some, some situations, some bad situation, but it was not tragic. So you could do it at some, some points uh, you could use this technique, the also called Alonso technique. It's a real technique, it's not something extremely bad. Uh, so you could make the car very over-rotating and then balance it out with forcing understeer. So the car rotates, you go into the turn like this, and you are forcing understeer, you slide a little bit the front tires, and the car balance out uh, its handling. Now, this is something that uh, they also, some drivers do it, in real life, okay, uh, for for a qualifying lap. So for a qualifying lap, you might do something like this and get away for it, with it, or even if, even be faster. I mean, we also uh, Fernando Alonso doing it in a real Formula One car, so it can work. But obviously, but obviously, if you do this for you know for a long of time like that, all right. If you do this for, for, for a full race, then you are scrubbing way too much material. And scrubbing way too much material from the tire means that, you know, in reality, you consume the tire way too much. And, you know, real drivers will tell you this is definitely something not to do, especially with uh, tires that have to, you know, sustain 1,500, 600 kilos plus 600 kilos of downforce. Uh, it's it's a lot of weight over the tire. So if you keep doing this, the tire will literally fall into pieces very very soon. So maybe it can work for one lap, two laps, five laps, even ten laps. But if you do one stint like this, then by 30 minutes, okay, uh, or 40 minutes of the stint, the tire will literally fall in pieces and you are going to, to suffer from loss of, of, uh, of grip and you are going also to, to suffer uh, precision on your tires. This is called tearing. You're tearing the tire down. You're practically scrubbing everything from the tire. Now, Assetto Corsa Competizione with uh, release 1.3.10 is finally simulating this, right? And means that if you are not gentle with the tires, with your tires during during a race, in the long run, you're gonna suffer tearing in a big way. And you will see this as a graining indication. We call it graining, uh, but it's not the typical graining. It's even worse than the typical graining because it works even on high temperatures. Uh, it works in optimal temperatures. It will, you will suffer, you know, tearing in optimal temperatures like this. And uh, obviously it also make the tire slide even more than normal graying. So if you go back to the garage right now with just two laps, okay, and we go to the fuel strategy. Uh, uh, oh, no, actually, um, on the new tire set, yeah. Okay, you see already light. Before that, in a set of competition, to get light graining, you have to end uh, a full stint in very cold conditions, right? Now, two laps, and we have already light graining. If you keep doing that for a full stint, at the end, this will, will say severe and you're going to have big, big issues. And if you want to do a double stint on, on those tires, this is going to be a really, really hard problem. So what to do about that? Yeah, what to do about that? Yes, you're right, guys. Tire set one. 
So what do you do about that? Well, you you need to to drive properly. You know, you need to drive by taking care of the tires during the race. Okay, so you cannot um, turn as much as, as as you want or you want to stabilize the car. No, you have to take care of it and you know turn the correct amount, ask from the tire the correct grip. I'm not saying that you should not even overdo it occasionally, but uh, you, you should drive like this, you know, you should drive like that. That is a proper driving, no issues about that. But if you do this, that's not good anymore. And you can feel it on the, on the, uh, on the steering wheel. If you turn too much and the steering wheel has a micro vibration, because right now, for example, I feel like zzz, a micro vibration, that means that in that condition, you are scrubbing too much stuff from the tire and the tire keeps on vibrating from from the bad lateral force that you are provoking so just you know drive properly do not overdo it and you'll see that by the end of the race you might have a light grain as usual and no big deal do stuff like this and you land the race with medium or severe graining and obviously your uh, lap times will suffer towards the end of, of the state so this is the new stuff that we have uh, created uh, for, for version 1.3.10. Again, I know that some people will have issues to deal with that, but it will promote better driving. It will make you a better driver. You will learn, it will take a little bit of time. Uh, I remind you that if you drive for some laps properly, the graining diminishes because the tire gets cleared so you can overdo it for a couple of laps and then drive properly and get less grainy you can lower the grain because in the meantime you know the tire gets clear this happens only in lateral uh, slip it doesn't happen when you're spinning so you don't have really to uh, you know fear too much for the rear tires except if you are you know going uh, counter oversteer into every turn which anyway it's not so fast so it's mainly for the front tires and you might have here you know uh, also in, in real racing drivers complaining about graying on the front tires and not much on, on the rear this is why it's happening mainly